Welcome back. I'll make sure we're unmuted. And uh, oh, we've got to leave this firewood here. We have some firewood. That'll lighten the load quite a bit. Uh, let's see what else we have. Okay, that's not too much firewood, maybe. We'll get some sticks on the way. I'm sure we're going to find some sticks. Uh, no spare clothes. This needs to be repaired. So let's see if our bear hide is cured yet. Did we drop the other 88% cured. Did we drop the other one? What do we got for uh, cured deer hide? Uh, we were going to blow down a deer, weren't we? Cured. Fresh. Okay, let's drop that. Fresh. Drop. Drop all. And drop. Black bear hide is not cured. So that's going to lighten our load a lot. Okay, now what are we down to? We want to bring this along uh, just for measuring purposes, or do we do we need to? The question is, what is our clothing like? Deer skin pants, 100% condition. Mariner's coat, 100% condition. This is not 100% condition, so we need to cure the the bear hide. How long does it take? 12 days and it's at 92% cured 88% cured 12 days so uh, do the arithmetic I can't do it in my head 12 days sounds like two days 12 out of uh, uh, out of 100 yeah I'm gonna call it uh, two days So, there's not much else we can do in the interim. We want to repair that bearskin coat. If we were to spot a, uh, a deer, we could pull it down. Why don't we do that? Go and shoot a deer while that thing cures. Because we, we got it. I really want to have that. It's not essential but uh, I'd like to have it uh, the bearskin coat uh, repaired up to its maximum before we leave we have one more spare bearskin so so I have a feeling There could be some more feathers over here. Remember, we left we left some bear harvestings up here on this little road here. There they are. So there should be some feathers here. Not around these guys. We moved these guys. Yeah, there's feathers. Where's the feathers? Dum 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 dum. We could go charting. Let's look at our chart and see where the gray spots are. Around Quonset Hunt. It's pretty well charted. Just off in this area here. Up in the hills above here. Uh, see, there's a boundary here because it's, it's nice and crisp, right? You can see in here it's a little gray, so there's a spot there that wasn't charted. And over here to the right of this. So that's up this road where is that road the road here yeah there is a road that curves around here so this end of the road hasn't been charted so let's go there and chart up here
Two days. We have to kill two days? Ah. Come on, be moving. Oh, there's a deer. And guess what we're going to do? Because that's what we have. Yeah, it's a rifle. He's going to come back. He spooked. He'll come right back to that spot. That's what I'm guessing. We don't spook him again. I can hear him walking too. I'm going to assume he's going to come right back on these tracks here. Well, fatigue's not too bad. See, we're wavering an awful lot. So that's why we do the, uh, the snapshot. Hmm, here's another buddy. I like to get right in front of him. I like how these models are 3D. Oh, darn it. I just moved. And buddy went too. Okay. No problem. So let's chart. Oh, look, there was a deer. Came back. And he's looking the other direction so I can get my rifle out. I could shoot him in the butt. I don't think it's a critical hit though. shoot him. I want to shoot him where I can have a fire. seem to head here. Oh, but he's coming this way. He's coming right for me. I'm going to head him off a little bit. And I'm going to get ready. That's about as close as I want to get. Too much, too much fatigue. Well, let's let's track him. Let's see if we can spot him. Ah, okay, he went this way. He did not run straight down that cliff. He, he kept to a gentler slope. So when it, when an animal encounters a steep slope. I bet it causes them to bounce off. Like this. He encountered a tree. And he's going to encounter this. And where did he go? From here. There he goes. He went up here. Uh oh. He bounced off here. And he went. Looks like he went this way. Yep. He went this way. I'm not seeing his blood drops. There they are. There they are. Oh, I've lost the blood trail. There it is again. It goes up here. There it 
goes. I am exhausted. This is not good. Exhausted on the trail of a deer is not good. Well, I think we're going to eventually catch up to this deer. And we'll be able to watch it uh, as it run leads out and expires. If we can keep on it. If it'll stay on ground that we can travel on. Is that our buddy? It is if he's got a blood trail. Oh yeah. I'm going to stay up here. Yep, there's blood. He's stuck. He's stuck on the loop. See that? No broken ankles now, please. There he goes back up the hill again. And we can't get up there. Oh, darn it. Well, maybe he'll bounce off something. My luck, because we're so fatigued, we're gonna break an ankle here. Or sprain an ankle, not break it. Oh, darn it all. I don't think we can get up this, it's just too steep. Over on this side, it's less steep. Oh, I remember the spot. It's. We can't get up here. We gotta go around. I think we gotta go around below this, too. Can't get around that. Yep, we can get up here. Let's see if we can pick up that deer again. He's still running, so that means he'll still be bleeding. But since we lost him, he may have stopped. blood trail. I wonder if this is an old blood trail. I'm going to crouch now. Because I think this guy is our guy. He's he's calmed down here, so he may have stopped running. Or these may not be the same deer that uh, we were following. I can't run now. I could shoot one of these deer, but it's you know it just goes against my grain to waste a digital deer, you know. Looks like they're going to come right to us, too. Well, if you're going to do that, just electrons, anyways. See if I can get the one shot here. A two for. We have to let them get really close. going to move anymore because <sighs> I 
got him. So that's going to put our skill level up. Okay, so now we need to put out a dare hide and compare it. And fortunately, we have a dare hide. And we'll just drop it right here. And put it right next to the deer. And by golly, you know what? It's from the neck to the rear quarters. Okay? That's the scale difference. The quarter him. And this takes one hour. One hour. Hmm. It was two hours when before, so our skill must have improved. Feels like something is sapping my energy. Yeah, we're getting tired, buddy. Okay, so let's bring uh two guts and two hides. No, there was another I'm gonna deer. Have to drop some gear. Yeah, I know we're gonna have to drop some gear. We're gonna leave all this oh look at all the feathers. So the fresher the kill, looks like the more feathers you get. That's my uh original theory right now. And we're gonna leave all these guys here for now. It won't be here when we get back if we go to coastal. But I can't really preserve it anyways. And we are really low on, on our fatigue. So I'm thinking why don't we why don't we go over here? We'll pick up some more feathers in the morning. And we'll leave all this stuff in this place over here. In this trailer here. And there's not a lot I can do about that meat. It's, it's, you know, excess consumption. No, there's supposed to be a rope. There it is. There's the rope right there. So let's look at our map. And, uh, where are we? We're right here. And that's a birch cedar limb and a birch green birch sapling. And it doesn't show the rope. So I'm thinking, oh darn it. Fog. That, that's not funny. That's not funny. I want to chart now. I'm going to chart, if I can. Low visibility, yep. Okay. Let's go over here. Drop off these guts. We've done our little experiment with the uh, with the deer hide. We can still bring that deer hide with us all the way to coastal. I could just lay down. Yeah, we'll just lay down in here, buddy. Let's drop these raw stuff. This is a fresh one. We have a stick. And a bunch of cured guts. Well, why are we carrying all that stuff around? And some cloth. I don't know why. And what time is it? Let's break this down. We got a bunch of cloth. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. So that got rid of that. And what's our uh, what's our condition now? We're almost full, but we need water. So let's not drink the uh, the pop just yet. We'll save that. We'll drink this, and uh, we'll 
have a nap here. I don't think there's anything else new in here. Sometimes things can spawn. There'll be a container over here. It's empty. There's nothing on these mat on these beds. It's nighttime. Time to sleepy. some more crow feathers. And what time is it? It's just morning. So you guys remember where the door is? It's right over here, somewhere. That's the bed, so the door should be bed. Door. We left the deer hiding those guts back there. Um, do we still have everything we need? One thing we do have that we don't need is this rifle. So we don't need that rifle any longer. We don't have that. We can unload it because we're going to bring the, the we're going to bring the bullets with us. So we're going to leave that. Where are we going to leave it? We're going to leave it. Here. And I want to leave it. If I put it in that drawer, I'll never remember it, will I? But if I leave it here on the floor, we'll spot it. So let's inspect the condition. The condition is 93. So we're going to drop it. If it's not 93 when we come back, we'll know that it, it has gone down in condition. Now that takes us down to 31 out of uh, roughly 40 kilograms carrying capacity. Uh, that's the hatchet. That's the knife. So after quartering, it's lost 4%. So, uh, but it did the job in one hour, not two hours. So uh, is that a valid comparison? I do not know. If I'm not mistaken, we have our good bow with us. So let's check that. We have uh, 25 arrows to spare. And uh, what's that? That's the bear, isn't it? Yep, that's the bear. I don't need another bear skin right now. And if I shoot it and we go off the coastal, it's going to go to waste. Well, those are the rakes. We need to go. We need to go up here, and we might as well map while we're here. That's what I wanted to do last night. Besides, if we shoot a bear with a bow, it's just going to get mad at us. It's just going to tear our clothes. Although he. If he tears the bear skin, that's no never mind. So, I'm going to chart here. I'm just going to look over this hill because the hill obscures our field of view. And so, I think it's better if we're not behind stuff. So, but, you know, it's a game. So, did the developers spend all that time to figure out that uh, it does not show, it does not seem to show the uh, rope, does it? It shows a cedar limb, cedar limb, and a green birch sapling. So, there's a green birch sapling over behind, behind this thing. You can always use a birch, another birch sapling, but I don't think there's one back here. Hmm. 
by the cedar limbs, wherever they are. You're back over there. So I think we're ready to oh climb goodness. this. Made it through another night. We're ready to climb this rope. So we're gonna take a little rest here. We're gonna have a drink and eat. And what are we gonna drink? We're gonna drink that. We're gonna eat this moldy looking nasty chocolate and nuts. Chalk stale chocolate bar. I don't think we're gonna get sick from it. It's granola bars you gotta watch out for. And here's a new granola bar. So speaking of which, let's eat the sucker. Drink some water. So we're going to have to make water before very long, about another day. So up we go. I can't look around right now. We have three bars losing on our stamina, three down arrows. So that means we're losing stamina really as fast as we can. Okay, so let's chart this this spot here. And we'll recover our stamina while we're doing that. And there's the rope, see? Now it shows. So now that birch sapling is up here, so it should be, it should be over there. So let's go. Yeah, there's the, there's those things. There's the cedars and the lots of firewood up here. So it's not showing a precise location for these things, but it is showing that there's. There's a birch tree up here somewhere. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we cut one down here once. So there should be a stump around here. Yeah, there it is. Here's where the birches were. So we need to get up there. Look at our map again. There's another rope there. So we just came up this. So we're up here somewhere. So we might as well chart again. We're running straight uphill. We'll have to run up here. We'll get really good tired. I wonder if running uphill makes it easier to get uphill. Okay, that's that's the end of that, running uphill. It does make us go faster though. I'm gonna chart again. We're gonna use up this charcoal before we know it. It doesn't add a lot of detail. There's two spots that are gray there. There could be stuff in there. But I think we need to get, there is a, a cave up here somewhere. Oh, look at that, we've hit a steep slope. But often it's less steep here, so yeah, it's less steep here, so we can get up here. I think we're going to chart again. We have 10 left. And I think that opens up some more terrain here. And I'm not seeing a uh, cave or a broken down tree that would signal that there's a, an exit location anywhere near. I think we've been up here. We've explored up here before. Oh, look at the view, man.
we just got to take a snapshot of that okay that's two of them the same I'm gonna chart again the good news about charting is it centers you on your location okay so this isn't showing us anything really that looks new We're, we got to be somewhere right around here right whatever's behind us is making a shadow so that's that thing so let's head around to the other side of it sooner or later we're going to find a cave Maybe below us. Okay, I'm going to chart again. Nothing to see. Nope, I need to go back out to Windows and look at some stuff. I don't want to pause the recording too much while I do that. Uh, no, I'm not going to go. Off. Herring off like that. Here's a little spot that you can't see from below. This is just the sort of a spot where a... Uh, uh, survivalist uh, cache would be uh, prepper cache so let's chart getting our weight down really good here so this this tells us where we're at when we chart right here this new spot we're in the center it's in the center of the screen too so I'm not seeing anything really new here I don't think we can get up any any further that way it looks too steep so we're going to have to go down here, and there's a little cairn. And we'll just follow the road, because usually the road leads us to where we need to go. That's got to be the, the edge of the, of the world. You can't get any further up than that. And I'm keeping my eye out here for a tree that's fallen down because usually you'll see a tree falling down or something. This looks like a mine a little bit. Uh, let's chart again. Midday. We're about half through our fatigue. Okay, we must be somewhere up here, but perhaps here? Really hard to say. There's the lookout. I'm just going to duck out for a second here and, and uh, have a look. So bear with me. Coastal. I'm looking at the map. So the yeah, the here's the lookout, and here's the uh, retainer. So we have to pass through a, a small clearing, and then we'll come to a Cinder Hills coal mine, abandoned mine. That's going to show up on our right, the second bump in the road. Okay, back to the game. Back to the game. I said. Okay, so. We go past these, these retaining walls here, and we're going to come to a cave. And if we were going to sleep, we might sleep in the uh, in the lookout's <gasps> place here. In fact, that sounds like an even better idea. Let's let's go over here, scout it. 
What was that? Oh, nothing. So we're looking for a clearing. And then another clearing. So there is a sort of a clearing. It's too foggy to chart. That's the problem. And a second clearing. So the mine should be right around here. Somewhere. up here you had to go up a steep hill duck around some rocks and then you find it now it could be up here and if there is a prepper's cache with a bed in it we'll hope for that yeah this looks like the spot all right so i don't know if i can chart this or not probably not but maybe in the morning let's try it try it and see What's the worst that can happen? No, can't do it. But the way is up here. Kind of a steep drop there, isn't it? Oops. This is as far up as I can get, and I'm not seeing a cave. This is the second, maybe this is the first clearing and we need the second clearing. We're doubling back, how did the... Let's follow this around here. Somebody's left footprints. I think it's us. Yeah, so we went we went up there and circled around. Okay, so let's go to the next corner and see if there isn't a mine there. I bet you there is. A little stump there. Kinda wishing we had the sleeping bag with us now. There might be one inside of this cave. This looks like the entrance to the cave. So this is where we want to come back to. Oh yeah, this is the place. Now if there was a if there was a bedroll inside of here, we can just sleep right here. And what time of the day is it? Midday. Oh my. So let's have a little snack here. We're going to run low on supplies, aren't we? Not much of that one left. We're running low on water as well. And what do we have for uh, flares? We have two flares. And one torch. And no lanterns. But if there's a lantern inside... And we're fairly light at, at only 30, so we're well below our late lim weight limit. So uh, let's go in here and explore a little bit. Curing, did you guys read that? It, it loads really fast. There is a flare. Now I remember looking at the transition map, and basically when you go through here, you keep on going right. There's some stuff over here. Driving gloves, cotton toque. Look in here. The stuff will come in handy. Don't want that. I see some matches. Take a tin of coffee. These mats will leave. Take the matches. Thank you very much.
Well, I can just barely see. So this on the map is a circuit. It goes around this, this uh, whatever you call it, ped pedestal or support. And it comes over here and it goes out there. So in here is a tool tool cabinet. I think I can use this. I can use that. Ooh, a hatchet, 76%. Oh. Might as well bring it along with this. Oh, look what's here. We're going to take that with us and drop it off somewhere. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Ooh, yes, food. Scrap metal. Okay, do you remember which way we were going when we came in? I don't. Uh, we came this way. We came in here. Because remember we dropped this stick here at the door? Do we have any sticks with us? To drop trail markers? There's one. Okay. If we had a burned out flare, we would drop that as well. Or, or other other markers. So basically we keep going to the right. And that's where it rejoins. And there's a little dead end down here. I think this is the little dead end. This looks like the little dead end. This is the one place where you go right, but you can't go right. It's a dead end. So you keep on going here. And then you come out on the other side. Oh, yes. This looks vaguely familiar. If I recall... To go, uh, to go this way. I thought we had to go up, maybe climb up something. But my night vision must be improving. So we've come to another location, and I think it's yeah. This is a different location. Work boots. I put them up here. Search the locker. Search the backpack. I could use this. Oh, matches. We got so many stupid matches. Don't need it. We have all kinds of uh, old man's beard. A newsprint roll. Put it up there. Nothing in the crate. This will come in handy. Painkillers will take. Cloth. Beef jerky. Scrap metal. Okay, and this is the way out. I haven't seen any coal on the floor, which is odd. There should be coal. That looks like a dead end there, and you go to the right. Let's go down here and see if there's a dead guy here with a torch. This looks like coal here. No. Toolbox. We'll bring that with us. Now which way do we have to go? We have to go to the right. just came in here, didn't we? Yep. There's something in there. Was it? Oh yeah, something. Okay. So we have to go out. This has got to be the way out. It seems like a dead end. And we went this way and it was a dead end, right? So let's go this way. Oh, that's the dead end. Let's go this way. Now this looks familiar. See this? You have to go up there. There's a little dead end here. Let's go in there and check that out. There might be a guy with a 
There's a corpse over here. Search corpse. Thank goodness. Oh, oh nice. New chocolate bar. Thanks. Here's the torch. Oh, this is a 100% torch. Coal. Oh, I'll take coal. Handy for fires. So, do you remember which way we had to go? We had to go up these stairs. Didn't we? Up the stairs. And there's a thing. And over there, if I'm not mistaken, yep, box of ammo. get to that, we have to go around here. More coal. Too heavy. Coal is heavy? The ammo is just down here. I like that our torch is, uh, Showing us how much. And where did I see? There it is. Here's the ammo. Could end up being useful. Five rounds. Come on, bullets. Worn t shirt, no thanks. Bandage. Yeah, I'll take it. Accelerant, I'll take that as well. So we're just going to get through this. Cave and uh, find a place to rest. We're going to come out in Coastal Highway. I have a feeling we're going to come out fairly near the top. And a little ways away from, from a bed. So we're going to wish that we had. Accelerant. So all stuff, good stuff for making uh, a fire here. And there's a bunch of coal. If I can drop coal in there, I don't think I can. However, I can drop all of this coal. I can drop it all right here. Because we don't need it. It's only good for forging. I'm going to put this out. Drop it right here. There's our torch. It's a good one. So let's drop these lousy ones. Let's drop all of them, in fact. Because we don't need them. We don't need these uh, flares either. Because we don't have to ward off wolves. So that lightens our burden. We have this. We can drop that as well. And we can drop we can drop this as well. Because if we do find a lantern, it's going to have some fuel in it. And uh, we have some stuff to eat and drink now. So uh, we're uh, not that thirsty. So uh, I think we're going to push on. Rest soon. I know you are, buddy. Let's find out where we are. Military grade MRE. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pleasant Valley region. Can we chart? Can we chart? 
We are surveying the local area. Excellent. Abandoned mine. So I have no idea where we have to go. But I have a feeling we have to go down. Because this looks like it's pretty up here. So there's that way. And there's this way. And there's not a whole lot of this way to go over here. So let's chart here, if we can. Nothing new. Nothing new. Okay. Down is that way. We could go down here, but it looks steep. It looks really steep. Let's get over here where we can get out of the wind. We can move a little better. Put some wind shelter here. Oh yeah, here's our fallen tree, which marks the location of our spot. If we were really serious, we could we could blaze a trail here by making a campfire. The campfires are persistent. Once it burns out, it stays there. Uh, unlike sticks, which can be confusing. You take a stick and... So, speaking of which, let's get some sticks. We can make some water. We'll need water soon. So we're looking for the first place where we can find a bed. Because we are critically tired now. And we're coastal. So I'm going to chart here. Let's see what we can see. Not a lot. So we should be actually pretty close to the radio tower, I'm thinking. Tower should be up on this next bridge here. If I'm not mistaken. This is a kind of a hollow area where there's rabbits and wolves. Yeah. This looks this is looking familiar to me. Let's grab a stick. There's more sticks over here. I think we dropped the coal. Here's a down tree there. Sort of marks another way to the cave up there. And we should actually be coming across the lookout. There should be a hunter's blind around here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it? Is that a different place? Or is that this place? chart while I can. Okay, there's a road. There's a road below us. So let's let's go down here. There's a road or a trail here. And I think that the radio lookout radio tower is somewhere up here. But there's a road the road actually leads to the ra radio tower, so if we encounter that road, we'll find our way to the closest bed. And lo and behold, it's going to be very cl close. There is, there is a road. Uh, we've come, we've come way down. So. Yeah, we've already come down. We're close to the uh, farmstead. If there's a way to get down, it should be over here. Let's run a little bit. We're going to get red real quick now. So we're going to run out of... 
<laughs> run out of stamina. Think straight. Yep. It just happened. Now this looks a little gentler here. Even if we find a car, we can sleep in the car for a little while. We have a really good warmth bonus. Oh, there's a bear. I'm crying out loud. So if that's the bear, then the radio tower is just up there. I want to shoot another bear. I didn't bring the gun, so I don't think we want to shoot him. There's another prepper's cache around here. It's right up on this mountain. But we're really close to to uh, shelter, so in fact, here is shelter right here. We're at the uh, crossroads, I believe. Yeah, we're at the crossroads. So there'll be a bed in that house over there, and there's a truck there. This building is burned down. Looks like they're both burned down. So there used to be, there's, there was a store. I think the store is on the other side. The store does not have a bed in it, but these houses do. There's a wheelbarrow. There's a wheelbarrow. We need a wheelbarrow. Come on. Come on. Let me take the wheelbarrow. They're so mean. They just tease you, don't they? You could actually sleep in here. And let's take a look at our status here. I'm exhausted. It feels like 22, so it's actually quite warm in here. Well fed food and drink. We can uh, we can easily use up one of these pops, so let's do that. That drops our weight just a little bit and gives us some food energy. And uh, let's eat the lowest condition thing, which is uh, an energy bar at 17 percent. Oh, we didn't even finish it off. Not thirsty. Okay. There's some scrap metal over here. There's a truck over here. The bear is... Is that bear following us? He sure looks like it. Excellent. Excellent is right. So that's it. There's nothing else here. If we had a rocket launcher... We could shoot that bear. But we don't. So let's go over here. Oh, well, we can't run. And loot the uh, store. Because there will be some goodies there. And come back and sleep at one of these houses here. How much stuff have we got? What can we drop here? What can we drop that's heavy? Bear skin coat. Well, it is warm. We could drop it. It's 8% wet. We could drop those things. It's not. We don't have a lot of stuff. We have 32 out of 20. Oh yeah, we're fatigued, so we could drop. We could afford to drop some stuff. Why are we carrying cured guts with this again? I don't know. We were gonna make a new bow. We have a 96% bow, so we still can't run because we're 28 out of 20, so we'd have to drop a lot more stuff. And uh, right now, we're 16 degrees, and uh, this this thing is giving us five, so we could drop it 
and that takes us down to uh, windproof bonus plus 22 it takes us down to 10 so we could drop 10 more pounds what's heavy that's two kilos we could, uh, we could drop that How can we run? No, we can't because 22 out of 20. Oh, we would have to drop this. Never mind. Can't run. We'll walk. We'll pick that stuff up on the way back. We're keeping warm enough, so we don't need that heavy clothing. We could drop the deerskin pants and the deerskin boots as well. But it's not that far here. Yeah. Well, there's two houses. Well, let's loot this other house too. Oh, a newspaper. This one's usually pretty stark and empty. Yep, it's pretty stark and empty. Reclaimed wood, scrap metal. Sometimes there's rifle bullets down here. I have to scrunch down myself and look. Let's go in here. I'm not finding anything. Metal container. Nothing. Nothing. More uh, newsprint. Cotton toque. Peaches. Okay. Let's get out of here. Nothing worth having here. Just some peaches. Thanks for the peaches. See, it looks like we're like about a foot off the ground, doesn't it? But those are big objects, those big beams, they're big. Drop there? I guess so. Here's that darn bear again. You know, if he doesn't stop following us like this, and I find a rifle, he's in trouble. I do not know if if there is a bed in this house. We'll find out. Yep, there is. And a lantern. And a book. It's not a research book, though, here. unfortunately. Ah, that's a shame. Ah, I love it. A rifle cleaning kit. Wood matches. Okay, we'll take those. cartridges on the floor. Energy bars. Open this up. Nothing in there. Is it food? Ooh. See, I knew we didn't have to bring supplies because you always find stuff the first time through. More coffee. Or tons of food. There's going to be a toilet in too. With delicious toilet water. Hope I can Yum. still eat this. Stale. No thank you. Salty crackers will take that. You betcha Skippy. Dog food. Yum. This will keep the lamp burning. Yep. Herbal tea, my goodness. Well, unless we encounter a moose, we're not really going to have much use for herbal tea. 
because we don't normally nerf our condition down that low. I'm not seeing a pot here. Often there's a pot that. Why come that's not a pop? That should be a pot. No. It should be, right? I'll bet you the pot's in the fridge. That's where I'd keep it. Full of stuff. It reminds me, I've got something cooking in the oven. Roast potatoes and stuff. So we're going to end this session right about here. Clad shirt. I know you guys want to look in here. I'm gonna leave that stuff. Look over here for wool mittens. No oh, thanks. Uh, we'll, we'll get some of this. Get some of this water over here in the toilet. And we'll take a snooze. That'll come in handy. Uh, yeah, no. Decent sweatshirt. right here. We'll take all that water. And then we're going to go and have a little snooze. And I'll leave you off there. <laughs>